Hello, everybody, and Hello. welcome to another episode of Serving with Purpose. I'm here with Danny, and, and I am your Carolina. I'm, I'm Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it goes. For right now, <laughs> after a couple of tequilas, <laughs> oh, no. we didn't even start. <laughs> welcome to another episode of Serving with Purpose, and we have a very special guest today. Um, she is a beautiful actress and model. And everyone, please welcome Miss Sydney. Hello. Yay! Hello. Thank you so much for having Sydney. me. Oh, it's Thank my you. pleasure. And it's Sydney with a Y. Sydney with a Y. I love that. You are absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you. So are you. Takes one and one. Well, you know, <laughs> everyone knows I'm a ham, so I love to hear that. So. You're like, I know. Make no apologies. No, thank I you. don't. So thank no. you. for. T- <laughs> You're gorgeous. Thank so, you. So how long have you been acting and modeling? When did you get into that? About two years. Yeah, two I started years. like. Well, right when I turned 15. Wow. Okay, so you're 17. Yes, I am. Oh, my goodness. We have a student with us. I'm a yes. little baby. <laughs> she's I'm still, still a baby. But she serves with purpose, you guys. You know I do. <laughs> she's serving already. Now she's going to be serving food on the Reality Network, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. So please tell us about that. Yeah, well, um, I met uh, Peter about a year ago. Shout out to Peter Hi, Madrigal Peter. Reality <laughs> Network. Yes. Yes. So I, we actually, my mom and I went to Sur for my birthday, which was in October. So I met him then, and then we kind of connected there. And then just recently, he had asked if I would be interested in filming a um, a cooking show in my house that he could put on Reality Network, which I am super excited for. And I mean, I've been posting cooking. I love to cook. Yes. I I do everything. I, I love that. I love cooking. I always have. I get it from my mama. So, and I love posting cooking videos. So, you know, might as well turn it into something bigger. Nice. You know, just constantly growing and expanding. So, so what was your most popular cooking video? Um, I post mostly about sourdough bread. So nice. Those always get a lot of attention. I love it with clam chowder, like a good old sourdough Ooh. bowl with the clam chowder. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen that? Or? I've, I've never actually. Oh had my god! Clam it is. T- get out! No? no. Are you a seafood girl? I've had seafood twice in my life. Really? <laughs> yes. Are you, is there any allergies? No, there's not. Honestly, my family was vegetarian for eight years. Okay. And then <laughs> after that, we kind of came out of that, but we never really had seafood. My my mom's very sensitive to strong smells so she doesn't like the smell of seafood so <laughs> that's just you can just forget her. about it yeah so but like i don't entirely mind it the taste mm-hmm. but like i said i haven't really been around it so not i don't use know it much right, yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm just not used to it you know gotcha not against it i just don't know much about it gotcha yeah. so you, you have said, time yeah <laughs> oh yeah you'll grow time. into it trust yeah. me <laughs> yeah our taste buds change like, you know, I don't know how often, but I know that I used to hate. Yeah, I used to hate spicy things. Mm-hmm. Now I love it. It's just Me like, too. I think it's like after you start eating the same thing over mm-hmm. and over again, you just want to try it a different way now. Oh, yeah. Like, let yeah. me throw some spice on this. Let no, me that's that's me. You know mm-hmm. what? A couple of years ago, I used to hate anything spicy. Like, yeah. And actually, when I was young, young, I didn't even like carbonated water because I thought I just didn't like yeah, the burning it was, sensation. It was too much. It's so like harsh. It. Huh? Um, <laughs> I, I just didn't like anything like super harsh like that and then i started forcing myself to mm. eat spicy foods and now mm-hmm. i'm just like yes yes give me more give me more give me more yeah. so okay so you said that your parents were vegetarian for how long uh, my whole family for about eight years oh whole family awesome yeah. okay so what dishes then we, would you make what was the most favorite vegetarian dish um one of my family at least that i make one of my family's very favorite dishes to this day, not even, you know, we're not vegetarian anymore, but we still love to eat it, is ratatouille. Oh, And I come love on. making it. It's so no. fun. It's so fun making it. It's so pretty. And, yeah. oh, I just love it so much. It's so fresh and, like, light. And you can add meat to it if you want. You can. We like to eat it with crostini. There's a million ways to eat it. So it's, like, it's so good. Oh, yum. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I'm just thinking of the cartoon. You know, yeah. I thought straight <laughs> for the cartoon. That's exactly why I made it originally. I was like, I want to make Remy, that. Remy, yeah. right? Oh, shout out to my love. My love's name is Remy. So. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And Amy, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, I was going to... I have some questions. Please. Okay. I knew you How did. How do you start cooking? How do I start? Uh, my mom. Mm-hmm. 
How my old mom, are you? I would. Ooh, I. How young? Been rattling around the kitchen since I could walk, honestly. Aww. And I mean, my, I used to just be like my mom's little helper. Mm-hmm. Um, she's always been like super hands on with teaching me everything she knows about uh, cooking. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I've been in the kitchen with her for a very, very long time. And so I just kind of gradually started to help her out more and more until eventually I kicked her out. Mm-hmm. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, I'm my just kidding. Oh, wait, I can't I'm just, wait for my yeah, daughter to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I love cooking with my mom so much. And it's kind of funny. She's the only person that I really enjoy being in my kitchen as well. Or well, I guess her kitchen. Right. The right. kitchen. <laughs> ownership the only person that i enjoy being in the kitchen because we're both very territorial over the space and yes. we both love well, you know like you're in the zone and you're right. trying to focus and make Excuse sure me, everything Mom. tastes yeah. perfect so we work really well together but yeah. yeah she taught me almost everything i knew and then i took all of that and went even farther so i love that i just i keep learning more so i i'm i love cooking good Been for a you. long long time Oh my goodness. Okay, so about the modeling. Mm-hmm. Cook and model. Mm-hmm. I know it's this one of the, I don't know her name. She's a beautiful influencer. But she's a model and she makes like homemade, like she made gum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like hard candy. She like she was into mm-hmm. it and she's just so beautiful and the way she cuts things and the way she, you know. I think know, I know who you're talking do you, about. Do you, do you, I and do. she's young and mm-hmm. she's a mom and she's oh, a model. Yeah. She's super freaking hot and, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. but. She's just so graceful with everything that she oh, yeah. does in the kitchen. You know who I'm talking about. Of course. I forget her name. Shout out mm-hmm. to her. I love her. But she, um, th- that and modeling, that's what made me think of the cook, the model, that I can do everything. How how yes. do you balance the two? Like, how do you find, like, modeling? What would you prefer is my question. Modeling or cooking? Or do you like them both equally? Or Yes, is yeah. the answer okay. to that question. No, and that's exactly what I'm doing now, is meshing those two beautiful worlds with this show. Oh, come on now. So that's, you that's, better sell that it is, shit. It's so I perfect. love it. And yeah, no, I, well, it's so perfect because, like I said, I've been cooking for a long time and modeling, even before modeling, it was always in the back of my head. Like, I love... You know, I love getting dressed and looking nice and like I love being in front of the camera, mm-hmm. the whole shebang. So I have found a way to I, I was offered this opportunity to blend those two worlds. Yes. And I'm so excited about it. Not exactly modeling, more like Yeah. Acting like TV. I'm gonna be cute. Right. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be cute and do this <laughs> yeah, show and teach yeah. you guys how to cook. Yeah. So God. I'm super excited, which is why I have decided to name it um, Sydney's Meals and Heels because then I can be all cute and dress up and cook at the same time. Yeah! Yes! Come on. Oh, we I can't love wait to it. See. She's a natural. You are amazing. I wish Thank I had that you. at 17 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had that at 43. It's just because I can't sit still. I always have to be doing something. <laughs> Good for you. Idle hands is the devil's workshop. That's what oh, yes. they were told. Mm-hmm. I was told all my life. So Good for you. Whoever told you that was very smart. <laughs> <laughs> what are your inspirations? for the recipes in the show um honestly i when i first started thinking of this menu and i had the entire thing hasn't been completely compiled yet i started thinking about like because i love you know polish food i'm i'm very polish Mm -hmm. and so that that was like from where i started is like oh well i love like these little like family recipes recipes that my family's made and then um just Putting little twists on them. Mm-hmm. So, and like I said, I love cooking things all over the spectrum. Yes. So, I'll be trying new things. I'll be making some older recipes that I know that have been in my family. So, I get my inspiration from all over. Love so, that. Love that. Yeah. What's your favorite Polish dish to make? Pierogies. Oh, and tell oh, me what that for entails. Sure. So pierogies are like, they're like a Polish dumpling and they're pretty simple, but it's like the dough and then you roll it out. There's potatoes. Sometimes you can put other things Mm -hmm. in it, but usually it's just Mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. And then you clamp it shut, you boil it, and then you either bake or pan sear them. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And then you can have it with like sour cream and onion on top or Mm. things like that. They sound really simple, but they are so good. Oh, it sounds like Not very good for you, (laughs) but they are very good. Oh, that's the best. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, soul food. Yeah, oh my gosh. I grew up, you know, yeah. (laughs) We just get older. We make better decisions. We try to clean it up a little bit, but honey, yeah. Yeah. Good for you. So in school, um, are, are, are are there any plans after school? You know, fashion mm-hmm. is my my 
my big focus, mm-hmm. you know, because I'm going to school for fashion. Okay. So that I'm just going to be, be my next question. yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, I'm just going to be continuing down this path, see where it takes me. Good. Yeah. So fashion, um, what is one of your favorite designers? Um, my son, Alaya. Oh, Alaya, like an Alaya, oh, yeah. yes. like that. Yes. So in Clueless. <laughs> <laughs> You know me, I'm a squirrel. So. <laughs> no, gosh, I she love said that, that movie. And Amaya, Rye, remember when she I gets lo- robbed in the yeah, valley? Yeah. And he makes her, you know, like the, get on the floor. She's like, I can't. Because this is a totally expensive dress, you know, designer. He was like, and I will totally shoot you in the head, like get on the floor. This is a lion. So that's the that first thing I me. thought of. Yeah, right? That would be like, totally me. Take everything, I but was please do not say, make me like, run this alive. I'm not going to kneel, but I can stand over there if you want me yeah, to. Yeah, can I? And I'll face I'll just this stand way. in the corner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. You can't Hilarious. jeopardize the fit. Yeah, I cannot. You can't please. jeopardize I know. It. And no. for what? Because I'm already robbed. <laughs> so what's your favorite movie? And speaking of movies. Ooh. Uh oh, is that one of those? No, no, no. I just got a whole list that's so hard. Oh, um, okay. Let's hear top five. Top five. Um, Pretty Woman. Oh, come on I now. I love Pretty Woman. Oh, come on now. I, I don't know Julia how I feel about you loving Pretty general. Woman, though. <laughs> As a mom, I'm like, quite honest. No. Why, why do you like that movie? <laughs> Julia Roberts. Okay. I just love Julia Roberts. No, she's a classic. It's a, no, good... it's a classic. It's I love classic. I love older movies in general. Good um, for you. Like The Breakfast Club. Come on now, yeah. right? My daughter, she's the same way. Oh yeah, she loves the Breakfast Club. Um, I love uh, Juno. Juno is really good. Yeah, that's a that cute was movie. Good. It was, it cute was. about the t- teenage pregnant girl. <laughs> <laughs> the teenage pregnant girl. None of these. Sydney, none of Sydney. these <laughs> movies are subliminal messages. These are not this a is reflection of. I'm not telling you. This is not a representation of anything in my life. They're just good movies. That's right. They're just good You're movies. Living, right. You're just enjoying the movie. I should have prefaced this whole list. No, I should have prefaced this list. No, this is great. This is great. I, I was, love it. No, I was gonna say I should have said something like I don't know Sesame Street. No, no, like, no, 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 no. I, I like love it. No, you are naming some mm-hmm. really good movies. And on the flip side of that, I love historical fiction. Oh, so, okay. Um, the Help. Is really good. Yes. Oh, I love oh, that movie so much. Oh, for sure. Um, Sully. I don't know if you've heard of that. Sully. No, it's about I haven't. the pilot Chesley Sullenberger who ended up doing a water landing in the Hudson River. Oh, and mm-hmm. he saved people. And he saved a lot of people. Yes, yes, I do recall something about it. I need to do my research, but yes. it's a good movie. So awesome. That's about. Mm, Wraps up my cinematic repertoire. Got it, got it. I like, love when that. I find, Come on, when cinematic I find... repertoire. Now, you said you were homeschooled, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> now, now, it shows, and I'm so proud <laughs> of your you. mom. She did an amazing job. She did. I'm very grateful for it, oh. honestly. I don't think I could... No hate to anyone who goes to public school. I don't know if I would be able to. I'm a product of it. So no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's good no, though. No, so please, you. no. Your mom if it did exceptional. For you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your mom did exceptional. She is amazing like for said, that. I'm so Shout thankful. Out. Yeah, she did it for me, my older brother, and my younger brother. So nice. yeah. Oh, and you're okay. So you're the middle child. I am the middle child. Oh my god. Can you tell? Do you have the syndrome? <laughs> no. Do not I have at all. the middle child syndrome? No. My cousin. Yeah, and she's the middle child. Shout out to Waverly. We love Waverly. Oh, love yeah. You. Yeah, honestly, my middle child syndrome gets canceled out because I'm the only girl. Right. So it exactly. gets completely canceled out. It does kind of, right? Because <laughs> you're the only girl. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So are they super protective of you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Let somebody look at my little sister or mm-hmm. big sister. Oh, yeah. Very protective. <laughs> and they're so, and my parents taught them to be so, so chivalrous. I will. I love it. I will get thrown if I try to touch my own door handle. Like, oh, I love get that. Get away. Good for yeah, you. I know. Set that precedent. Yes. I love that. Yeah, they, I, I love them so much. They were like my best friends. Good. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah, so Brian and Elliot. Oh, shout out to Brian and Elliot. Brian and Elliot. Love that. <laughs> oh, hey, brothers. Hi. <laughs> so you seem to come from such a great family. Yes. Are you going to be ready to go explore the world? You're ready to move or um honestly well so i'll be going to school back home Mm -hmm. um we'll see you know where that takes me if i'm able to complete all four years because like i said i i I love this world i'm gonna put it first so you know 
And I, I want to do Arizona, all the right? things. Uh, yes, I've lived in Arizona and, for know, about eight years. Now. Mainstreams are New York, New York, and Los LA. Angeles, or Europe. Yeah, absolutely. Would which you like is to go explore? One hundred percent. So yeah, um, depending on how all of that works out, um, eventually I want to be back in Arizona, but mm -hmm. possibly one day I might end up in LA or New York. Like I said, I'm just going with the flow and seeing where all of this takes me and trying to make all the decisions, the right decisions. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to be, I visit these places, not New York. I'm going to be in New York for the first time in September. Yeah. So I'm really excited yeah. about oh, that. Nice. Yeah. What part of the city? Oh yeah, for yeah. Fashion Week. So yeah. oh, we'll see how, how you work in Fashion Week. Sorry? Are you modeling for Fashion Week? I believe so, yeah. yeah. I still have to figure out all the details. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, Let us so. know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm excited. But um, as in terms, I mean, of LA, mm -hmm. I visit like once or twice a month. So mm -hmm. I'm here pretty often already as it is. So we'll see how all that goes. Oh, yeah. nice. What do you want to do in fashion? You want to have your own brand or you want to work for... Model. Yeah. Model, yeah. Probably do a lot more commercial print work for some higher brands. Um, mm -hmm. Runway is a lot of fun. It doesn't pay as well as commercial work, but I'd love to, you know, do some runway work in Europe. Yes. What a dream. That's I every mean, model's dream. You know? Of course. Why not? The fast list, huh? glitz and glam <laughs> of it all. 100%. Once you like movies so much, would you like to acting? or? Yeah, so acting is something that I am just very very recently getting into um i'm not sure if this show counts as acting because i'm more just like not, re not really trying uh -huh. to pose as anything else i'm just being on camera but i guess i'm just getting myself used to it right now because mm -hmm. i've had a couple of people talk to me about certain um acting opportunities and things like that so that might be a world that i am starting to segue into mm -hmm. so it's, it's a little bit new for me but i'm very excited about it nice. so, right and about this show you already have some seasons planning yeah, so the format that I'm going to have it in, I'm hoping, like I said, still in the planning stages of this process, I'm hoping to have multiple seasons, and then each season is going to be based off of, like, a certain type of food. So, like, appetizers or entrees or, like, breads. Oh, that's I'm nice. excited for yes. that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have a desserts, season about things sandwich. like that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I can do that too. <laughs> like I, I love all the ideas. I need all the ideas. Yeah. So yeah, sandwiches, um, little bites, like everything like that. So just like certain categories. So desserts, desserts. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I, I love baking. I love. Baking. What's your favorite thing to bake? Ooh, <laughs> I. So I own a bakery. So I've been doing this for a long time, and I usually. I'm usually baking, you know, what other people order. Mm -hmm. So my favorite thing to bake are what make my family most happy. So, like, my older brother loves cinnamon rolls. Mm. So I'll make him, like, maple glazed cinnamon rolls. Oh, my gosh. Those, that sounds amazing. Those are really good. Especially right now. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good right now. No. And then around Christmas time, my, like I said, I love Polish food. I make kolachkis every Christmas. Um, and so those are super, super good. So what is a kolachki? A kolachki is a, yeah, okay. so you have a little square of dough, and then you pipe jelly onto it, and then fold the sides over, and then you bake them and dust them with powdered sugar, and it's so good. Oh, my God. Oh, what it's kind so of filling? Good. Like raspberry? That's raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, whatever you want. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Sounds amazing. I'm hungry. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. Okay. So what do you ahead. like to eat? What do I like to eat? Mm -hmm. mm, more like fresh foods. I... Just love my fruits and veggies. I mean, so my favorite food ever is sushi without the fish. So, yes, veg I know, so like right? vegetable the avocado rolls. roll, cucumber <laughs> roll. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Um, my mom makes these really good Vietnamese spring rolls that I really, really love. Mm. So like really fresh, bright foods like that. Mm, that sounds so So fun. even though oh, your yeah. base is like Polish, you're going to have food all over the world. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, we have a very wide array of foods. Nice. Yeah. Well, so we're servers. So I work at Sir, and she works at Star Crab. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a server too. Out. And I work at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles nice. as well. So we're oh, servers, beautiful. still serving with purpose. Mm -hmm. So our thing about that is we're two servers, mm -hmm. and we're um, 
in love with our community mm -hmm. and with the world and just making it a better place. It sounds mm -hmm. so cliche, but literally, no, we work with I'm different I'm a server too, I understand. Right? Because people walk through those doors, your main purpose is to serve them something everybody loves, good food. Right. And it puts a smile on their face, so I totally understand what you mean. Aw, yeah. this is so sweet. Thank you. You're so relatable. Of course. Yes. <laughs> so with that idea, we also... Um, as far as the community too, mm -hmm. certain foundations that we work with. Mine is um, my friend's house foundation. Um, it's geared toward working with um, the Skid Row community. Well, that's what it's commonly known as, but we refer mm -hmm. to it as Hope Row at this point. But yeah, oh, that's beautiful. downtown LA, we're working with them. It's every single Wednesdays. 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So um, that would entail um, they have a hub and they have different um, stations where they're ha they have men's clothing, women's clothing, children, oh, wow. household miscellaneous oh, items that, that people have yeah. donated, mm -hmm. um, canned foods, hot foods as well that people donate and their time and energy making. Um, mm -hmm. We have a prayer section, all that. So that's what our foundation. Um, oh, will, you that's know. amazing! Thank you. No, that really hits home. It's uh, beautiful. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I've been working with them for about four years. That must feel very fulfilling. For oh, you. it's a hundred percent. And so that's with uh, Carolina as well. Mm -hmm. She has worked with several different foundations, like from I'm here from to Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from here to Brazil. <laughs> that's amazing! Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, the foundation that I chose is Comfort Case. They take care of foster kids. So okay. when they move house to house, sometimes they don't mm -hmm. have a bag or something and they need yeah. to move with trash bags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So comfort cases give them like a backpack. And I've heard of bear. those. That's beautiful. They're, they're very mm -hmm. famous. And, yes. and by the yeah. way, I have some donations for you from Malene. Oh. You know she already lost. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that she out of them already. Yes. Oh, nice. So some things are brand new. You know, they never wear them. So right. oh. something for you. Love so that. that's why we're doing the podcast. Like part of the profits are going to our foundations and wow. many others. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I <laughs> Thank love that. You. I haven't ever worked with like a certain foundation before, mm -hmm. but I have been on two different, two separate city volunteer programs for three years. Oh, time. nice. So yeah, I was a part of, because um, I'm from a small town in Arizona. Not so small anymore. It's growing pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, called the Surprise Youth Council. And so oh, it's surprising. kind of youth government for the city, youth volunteer program. So mm -hmm. uh, we did so many things. We would put on youth events or we would go and do community service. It really just depended. And then I was also on the Surprise Youth Justice Project mm -hmm. where I was helping. I served on a peer jury for about three years. So oh, was wow. A lot of fun. Three yeah. Years. It was wow. a restorative. Was it the same case or different cases? No, it was different oh, cases. Sorry, so it was, a, it's a, it was a restorative justice project so it wasn't actual court but right, it was a right, court right. format because the whole point of the program was to keep kids out of the system right so yeah. you know they're not exactly they're not delinquents yet yeah. but we're kind of we're trying to make sure they don't become delinquents absolutely yes. absolutely that's yeah. so good good for you mm -hmm. another notch under your belt i love that so you're telling me what um college did you decide to go to arizona state university yes Yay. asu yeah, I'm really good excited. for you yeah no my brother goes there mm -hmm. he's gonna be a senior this year i'm gonna be a freshman so we're both gonna be able to spend a year together on campus so i'm so excited about that yes. i won't be lost finding my classes this year so i'm excited <laughs> exactly and he's gonna be there to like yeah. protect you mm -hmm. you know like let the everyone know like this is little sis don't even try it <laughs> you know what i mean oh, right yeah. before he leaves oh you yeah because it's like okay the you know that was a great introduction he's on his way out yeah. on your way in mm -hmm. he could you know get you acclimated he's passing you the baton pretty much like, here you go much. Sis. i love that good oh for yeah you. it's gonna be a blast like good i said best you. friends we're gonna have so much fun nice yeah. Nice. How old is your brother? He's 20. Oh, oh nice. Mm -hmm. Nice to nice. I know. Mm -hmm. That's so amazing. My brother was like seven years older than me. Mm -hmm. And so I was just an annoyance yeah. to him. But <laughs> <laughs> at that point, it was too large of an age gap. Yeah. So that's cool that your brother is your friend. Well, yeah. he's my friend now. Shout out to my brother, yeah. Tori. Hey, brother. <laughs> but, <Aww. laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I was worried our years weren't going to match up because he is a total brainiac. He's yeah. like the smartest guy I know. So he ended up graduating high school a year early, mm -hmm. got the presidential scholarship and went on a full ride. Oh, wow. And so wow. I was like, okay, 
those are big shoes gonna... to fill, huh? <laughs> like... Yes, yeah. I, you tell me about it. No, right. he, he's, he, he does so much. I, I'd be here for 10 years telling you all of the things that he's done. But um, I was like, okay, I'm either going to graduate at 17 mm-hmm. a year early and be there with him mm-hmm which is the only option I'm going to pretend like this next option is so that I feel like I have some kind of control over the situation yeah. or I graduate at 19. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, absolutely not. No, I, I need to be there. So yeah, I, I studied for the SATs like really hard mm-hmm. and I took the test and then I ended up getting to graduate a year early also with the scholarship. So we'll be going. So I'm so, so excited. Oh my God. It's going to be great. Oh, amazing. Mm-hmm. Your oh, mom so must be so you. proud. I know. <laughs> Literally, she, she did that. Yeah. <laughs> all her she did. With she the did. presidential scholarship with your brother. Like, she homeschooled all three of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. now tell her I'm next, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will. No, if you're interested, she she totally homeschooled you. Oh, no, I if, love you, that, if you need please. anything. Um, no. Listen. No, no. And I have no doubt my little brother, he's. On his way. Such a brainiac. Mm-hmm. Such a brainiac. My my brothers have very like mathematical, scientific minds. Very mm-hmm. like technical. Mm-hmm. I'm more of like the artsy, yes! you know, like Same. outside of the box, like colorful, and they're very like calculated. Yes. So yeah, I don't know. It all works, mm-hmm. but I know that they're. Yeah, they got you. Big brains. They got they you have, up there. Upstairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you They're going to review right. income, those oh, modeling yeah. contracts, like, uh uh-uh, uh, X, Y, Z. Like, yeah, I'll be like, can you read sign? that? Right, exactly. Like with their little highlighters. That's so good mm-hmm. that you have all that support, Aww. which oh, speaks yeah. to who you are, and that's why you're such a lovely young lady. I'm very lucky. Well, thank you so of much. Of course, yeah. of course. And we are lucky to have you here. So, what's your dream? What's something that you want to accomplish in your life? I no, I like, no, I was <laughs> well. I mean, I'm. This life is way too short to do yeah. all of the things that I want to do. Mm-hmm. But within the next several years, mm-hmm. I want to be on the runway for Aliyah. Mm-hmm. Of that, course, yeah. that's like that'd be such yeah. a yeah. dream. You need my to manifest design. that. Literally, yes. I've been manifesting it. Yes. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's already happening. What I meant was, in a couple of years, I will be. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, and then I, you know, I want my modeling to take me to the ends of the earth. You yes. know, especially because not just for the opportunities, but I have just being in Arizona and LA, I found that modeling has, you know, brought me to make connections with people from all walks of life. Yes. Like it's so, it's so beautiful because I have, you know, I have friends from just like just everywhere and I, it helps you gain a lot of perspective on life. And it's, it's, it's so cool to see. So I, I don't know. I think that would be really great. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. I love that. And there's that. And then, you know, more with commercial print work of course mm-hmm. and then outside of modeling because i don't know depend unless you're like naomi campbell or mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. bella hadid Gigi mm-hmm. hadid mm-hmm. um modeling can does have a number mm-hmm. you know so it's not like a forever career for everyone mm-hmm. um and i do have a business i'm a bu- i've been a business owner for about two years so i'd love to continue and grow that business what is your business please yeah. so we, i we, had a cottage food bakery definitely. and mm-hmm. as of the past like couple of months i've started doing a rebranding and relaunching process um to sydney's organic kitchen okay it's a cottage food okay kitchen Got it. Um, and I will be having kind of it's like an honor stand outside of my house okay and so I'll, I will not only be baking things but I'll be making like jams jellies pastas things like that mm. breads pot bread I love bread I Is love making bread that? it's like my favorite yes. I love making bread and I will be selling those outside of my house Okay, so, so it'd already cool. be prepackaged or is it made yep. to order? No okay. prepackaged. Okay. And then I do take private orders as well. Oh nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So okay, so, so if you need some food for your wedding. Oh, do I have <laughs> Yeah. I have Funny, catered weddings listening? before. That See? was fun. <laughs> yes, I have. I love that. I like to so, connect to everybody. You're so <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Come on, caterer. Well, catered the desserts for wedding, not an entire wedding. That'd yes. be a lot for <laughs> just right. me. Right. But I catered but the, the bread desserts. and the jam. Yes, <laughs> all that. I love that. Ideas, ideas. Yeah, no. So you said you owned a 
the bakery I was trying to mm-hmm. figure out if that was the business because yes. you know I sorry I, no not that <laughs> was the no. business because you know I have that like the mm-hmm. show was cooking Sydney mm-hmm. with me no I know meals. I have a lot going on I have a lot going no, on no 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 <laughs> yeah 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 and that's so good at 17 like I said I probably wish mm-hmm. <laughs> like you know that yeah. I have that much focus but mm-hmm. good for you like so we got that going um, in college, your major is going to be fashion? Yes. Okay. I'm doing fashion. No cooking? <laughs> no well, culinary cu- arts? Well, culinary arts is mostly a trade. Okay. So, and the the good culinary schools in New York. Mm-hmm. So I'm in LA. Mm-hmm. And I would prefer to stay closer to home for school. Yes. So, yeah. Understood. Mm-hmm. And your parents probably don't want you going all the way to Big Bad New York. I they, know I wouldn't. They prefer <laughs> I stayed around. Right. Yeah. Yeah, New York is good. You can have far. some classes. Like, you know, don't have to go for a degree for a full year. Oh, yeah. Well, no. I mean, there are. Have some fun. I'm sure there are culinary electives. Um, but, you know, right now, I mean, first year, I'm just um, focusing on general education prerequisites. And then I'll be doing that probably for next year as well. And, t- and then after that, it's all going to be elective. So I can take all the fashion and culinary and anything that I want. Any other passion subjects that I want to delve into, I can do that. Good for you. That's why I love America. That doesn't happen in my country. If you want to do one thing, you have to do one thing. If you're an actor, you're an actor. You cannot be an actor and a singer. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Literally. I mean, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no more than one talent. No. Like God no. said, you, you do this. You just have one talent. Okay. <laughs> That's why when I come here, oh my God, you guys mix everything. That's the best. Right. Don't you dare be a J-Lo. You can do you anything. You cannot be an actress, dancer, singer. Don't no, try it. If you're an actress, you're an actress. Singer, a singer. Yeah. That's it. Stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that about us. Oh, well, thank you that you have options, right? Thank God. Oh, that's why I'm America. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah ex- exercise all of our talents, all of our God given talents. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, you know, like I was just saying, I'm constantly have things that I want to do. So I would, I would go crazy. I would be driven up a wall if I could only do like one little thing. I can't be a waitress my entire life. Right. Like, I can't be just like one thing my entire life. Of course I'm like not. Crazy. All the, I have so many ideas that I'm so passionate about. So I, I need to do that. all of the things. All of the things. All of the things. I love that. And then acting too, because you could. Mm-hmm. I could hold a totally see you. Well, thank like, you. you know, of course, of course. <laughs> you look like a Fanning, or you know, one of the Fanning girls. Just gorgeous, so ill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so, you. Have you heard that? Look, you know me. I'm always trying to make people look at place people. <laughs> she knows I'm notorious for that. You look like, and then sometimes she'll agree, sometimes she won't. Well, did I nail it with the L, Fanny? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah. so you're 17. Yes, I know I this. So do you have any boys that have, been interested that you've been interested back in or or we're not even thinking about that mom is not even letting me (laughs) brothers are on my head you know which one like is there room for that because I'm sure our little you know (laughs) these guys that watch serving with purpose these young men (laughs) and Instagram yeah and the reality (laughs) network honey Mm -hmm. yeah they're gonna be well so well so that's that's the thing with all of the work that I do sometimes it is difficult to find people who are under first of all understand the world that I am in the fast-paced world that is modeling and also everything that comes along with it exactly including like the people that i'm around and the Mm -hmm. attention that i get from other people even Mm -hmm. male and female like hello it's it's a it's it can be a lot for someone to digest which i completely understand um however it's not gonna stop anytime soon because this is what i love hello i love that about you see that's yes yeah i need my daughter for your mom to homeschool right (laughs) exactly (laughs) you're so sweet no seriously so i mean in terms of people being interested and me being interested back, mm-hmm. um, I mean, there's I... this one. <laughs> <laughs> is it Billy? What? I said, is it Billy? No. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> okay, I'm totally throwing out fictitious names. <laughs> 
Do you guys really know? Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I. Did I call it on accident? She's like, is she psychic? Who Are is you this psychic? Chick? No, honest. No, I. There's always a Billy. Uh, no, I mean, there's and, always a Billy. There's always a Billy. That's funny that you say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so funny that you say that. No, I I'm mean that. No, I have. Run in, I I oh am God, single yes. at the moment. <laughs> You say what? I'm so single yes. at the moment. You're single and at the moment, I, I but am. Billy was a, a thing. <laughs> Billy was... I, I don't have a Billy. Right okay, no, right, right now. I don't, right have, now. I, don't have, I don't have a Billy right now. No. Look at us girls I, over I, here I, gushing over these I, guys. I you know a Billy. Billy. I know a Billy. Do we know a Billy? I know a Billy. Billy about? I have an English question. Billy's <laughs> a, a, a nickname for William. For weed? Weed, yeah. For we, we William. Oh, for William. For William. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. His, okay. His full yes. name so is William. Bill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Billy William. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. No, Hi, but baby. I mean, like hey, I said, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> There's just going to be like a random Billy. It's going to be like a blank face with this question mark, and that's Billy. Yeah. So that's going to be our mascot now for the show. We're just going to refer to Billy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's oh new. You heard it first. Serving um, the purpose. No, so uh, like I said, I have a lot of, uh, you know, friends, and I have talked to guys who are interested, but I'm, I'm just like, I don't even have talking stages. I just, I'm getting to know people and I'm not really committing to anyone right now. Good girl. And I'm just like, cause I'm like I said, my main focus is my work. Good. And then I'm gonna prioritize that type of stuff last. Good. So like I said, I'm just getting to know people at the moment. Oh, I love that. You yeah. have such a good head on your shoulders. <laughs> Lord, I was so the opposite at 17. Jesus Did Christ. you have a Billy? Oh, oh my God, I had a, did I? <laughs> You're like, I had William, him. Bill. Billy, no, not like that. But I mean, I was in love, and it was in love with each and every one of the bills. You know what I'm saying? Like head over heels. Oh, that was the last one. Oh, that was my husband. Oh, that was my forever. Oh, he was, my, you know, like I was one of those. A girl, fall mm -hmm. hard, fast. Yeah. You know, we're engaged yeah. one week. You know, you oh, miss up. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm so happy that you. This generation, for some reason. It's just so much smarter than mine <laughs> in my experience. You know what I, I don't mean? Know. Like, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Every generation has their downfalls and yeah. their strengths. That's so tall. Yeah. Oh, she's so wise. <laughs> Is she the Oracle? Like, what are you? Are you tall, Greg? <laughs> like, she's not real. No, she's not so real. Great. That's insane. You're so impressive. No, thank you. You're thank you, welcome. Thank you. So yeah, the boy scene. Good pick, is Peter. <laughs> I agree. Thank you, Peter. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no. you, Peter. Shout out to Peter Madrigal again. Do Thanks. you like to cook as well? I love to cook. My grandmother from my father's side was Italian. Okay. So she teaches us how to make food from scratch. So oh, Sunday wow. mornings was me and my father cooking. That was like oh, our thing to love go that. to the farmer's market, That's get the beautiful. ingredients and making mm -hmm. Italian food. That's so cool. Uh -huh. Sunday mornings are so sacred to my family mm -hmm. for that reason because my, you know, none of us, we're, we're all, we all have very crazy busy lives. But yeah. Sunday, no one's working on Sunday. Right. No one's doing anything on Sunday. Except for we, me. We, we, <laughs> we call one Sundays. at Roscoe's. <laughs> Well, good for you. Good Serving for you, all the hangover well, folks from Saturday um, night, right? Weekend. <laughs> it sounds all wholesome and pure. Church family. I'm like, hey, you want a number nine <laughs> with the waffles? Okay, I'm, fine. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's funny. I love it. I think create new traditions, right? I like mm -hmm. have like Monday, Tuesday off because everything is empty. All restaurants are empty. Supermarkets yeah. empty. Yep. When you have the weekends off, everybody's doing it's everything doing on everything. the weekend. Yeah. Restaurants are full. So movies true. are full, yes, supermarkets movies. full. So yes. you waste so much time of your free time yeah. doing things when everybody's doing. So I like so having Monday, true. Tuesday off. So like nobody's in this Trader Joe's yes. at like no, 10 a.m. You know? I understand. Exactly. Well, that's why I say that Monday mm -hmm. is my weekend. Yes. Like Monday is my biggest like so my that's your calmest Friday. day. Monday mm -hmm. is my Friday. Mm -hmm. Monday and Thursdays are always like my calmest days, especially because, like I said, I'm a waitress. So mm -hmm. Mondays were always closed, and I mean Sundays were closed too, which is why we're all together as yeah, a family. Okay. I mean my brother work at the same place, so oh nice. Just, now what is your restaurant? Um, it's called oh. Little Sicily. It's a little like hole in the wall Italian place. I love it. Shout out. Yeah. Shout yeah. out. You yeah. can go visit yes. her and tip her. Yeah, tip her, please. <laughs> tip your servers. 
Hello. Absolutely. No, I've been working there for about three and a half years. Really? No, about, about, three years, yeah, yeah, about three years, actually. About three years. I like it there. Can you tell? No. I love that. It's so you grew sweet. up with this place. I did. Pretty no. much. Well, I mean, they've been open for 18. Damn. So oh, I've only been there for a little bit. But, but still, like, yeah. a, as you, you know, like, yeah. have grown up in the restaurant mm-hmm. for, you know. And then like, my brother's been there for five years. Oh, nice. Oh, oh they love you? your family. Oh, yeah. Good no. kids. And we love you know, them. good kids. You know, yeah. good kids. Yeah. Well, I, could hear I feel like it's hard to find dependable people nowadays. A hundred percent it is. Especially at your age. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, well, I would young that people, be the last thing I think about. Young is people, working. they got a lot of things going on. You know, focusing on friends, school, all of the other things, all, oh. you know. All um, of the things. All of the things. <laughs> so, you know, it's hard to find someone you can really count on. Mm-hmm. So, but me and my brother, we live like. 10, 15 minutes away nice. and you know we're always there so oh, we've grown that. close with the owners it's a yeah. family owned oh, company it's really sweet oh, and the customer your, base mm-hmm. we're super close with as well oh so you have your regulars that come I in do. all the time I and they really say do. we're Sydney I want to sit in Sydney section <laughs> they do. I, honestly I do every <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna lie, every section is Sydney's section because it's a small place. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. So they still reveal. It. No, no, there are no <laughs> sections. There's one section. There's you know, a we D have, section. We have nine t- tables. So it's, really? It's a tiny little place, but nice. a lot, a lot of people in the community like it because you know it's. I don't know. Every, every, everyone. Yeah, yeah. We That's the a, Italian spot that everyone goes spot. to. They have yeah. the best pies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. So I have regulars. And in Arizona, there are a lot of snowbirds, which it, if in case you yep. guys didn't mm-hmm. know, the seasonal, um, yeah, the mm-hmm. seasonal people. They mm-hmm. have um, homes in on the East Coast and Come the West on now. Coast. That's called bread right there. That's, That's called, called bread. Moolah. That's yeah. called money. Yeah. <laughs> so it. the people who come out west. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. During the winter time. No, so they don't. They're leaving all their friends and family back home, so they get kind of lonely sometimes. So I've had people who come in just to talk to me. Yeah. You know, like just because I they bet. end yeah. up and stay. You know. Know, just make sure because you know <laughs> people could get weird so oh, you know yeah, the no, ones I've that ha- just come in to talk I've, all I've, the time just I've keep your eye on that I've share of weirdos I'm sure you have that you know these, these ones are nice oh, I have good. a lot of nice good, ones good. some good. of them some of them I have their personal phone numbers yes of course for when they go back home Aww. I'm worried because sometimes some of them like live alone so you're <laughs> across the country Oh. What if something happens? happens? And you have no family. You, you are just an family. angel. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my God. My heart is melting. Like I said, I... I you want me we over talking. Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I mean, we were talking about this earlier. Like, I don't have a ton of friends my age. Like, I have, I have friends from all over the spectrum. So a lot of these regulars, I would consider my friends. Of course. So, of yeah, course. I... Like I said, I love working there. So same. And that's how people. it is at Roscoe's. Um, a lady came in because um, they were going through some um, um, moving. You mm-hmm. know, they went from one building to the next building, and COVID happened, and I oh. had sir, so I was kind of in and out. And my regular, her name is Mel. Shout out to Mel. Hey Mel, I saw her on um, Monday. And she looked, and I was just, I didn't even notice her. Her hair had changed, you know, she went through some things. But when I saw her, she was like, oh, Danielle, like, oh, you're fine. Like, I found you, you know, it was almost like a long yeah. loss, you know, it was so sad. Aww. And then she was like, oh, all of these things have happened in my life, you know, mm-hmm. we'll catch up. But I have her phone number, you know, and we talked. She was like, you know, she would call me. She was like, you know, um, it, she was just going through some things, but it's, she would have considered she was like i wish i had your number because you know or i wish whatever i had my phone we lost contact but she was like i would have totally called you i would have totally had you come over you no. know like i know it's just that meant the Aww. world to me you know what i mean mm-hmm. and going through her issues she wanted to rely on me so that's how close the connection with my regulars are i've been at roscoe's for Aww. over like I want to say 30 years off and on because I started yeah no literally I started like at 13 um I got my work permit yeah Mm -hmm. I went (laughs) I went to Elliott Middle School in Pasadena that's my little brother's name Elliot Elliot. that's right (laughs) oh shout out to Elliot and so um I worked at the no I, so Roscoe's chicken and waffles was right down the street from my middle school mm-hmm. so I would go there all the time I was like a regular my dad and I and we would um 
one of the days they needed extra help. And so I was there all the time. And I was like, I don't know if it was legal or not at that time back in the (laughs) 90s. But, you know, I kind of helped out a little bit, you know. And then finally I was just like, well, let's just make this legit. Like, I want to work. Mm-hmm. I knew at 13 and 12, like, I did want to work. Oh, yeah. And so I wanted to be independent. I didn't want to spend my whole day there, but I did want to make some extra money. So I went and got my work permit and then started working there at at wow, Roscoe's at, like, amazing. 13. That's exactly. Great. Thank you. So yeah. I've just been with the company forever, grew up with them. Yeah. So thankful for them as well because Aww. they've seen me throughout. Like, I literally grew up with that company as yeah. well and you're not going to be doing that forever but you know it's kind of like the yeah. same yeah. you know kind of homely feeling like yeah, it's a family owned restaurant yeah. and you know like we all have been there for so long mm-hmm. the turnover rate like we've seen people come and go but oh, yeah. we, our core has been there forever yeah. and then sir same thing like now that's become my family my second home you know oh, so it's beautiful well yeah. it's nice too because you know everyone has crazy things going on but when you get to the restaurant you know what you have to do. And since you've been there for so long, you know how to do it well. So you're not going to mess up. So it's a place you can kind of clear your mind, focus on like this task and do it well and make people happy. You can just kind of forget about everything else that's going on for the moment. Mm -hmm. Make money doing it. Heck yes. Make money doing it. And make money doing it. Better. (laughs) Just a little Heather Graham too. (laughs) (laughs) The baby Heather Graham. Do you know who Heather Graham is? I don't. Okay, look. Look her up. She was amazing. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Like, but she, oh. I mean, yeah, she's definitely your mom. But you know, <laughs> but like you're the younger version. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I I love. I absolutely adore serving. You know, it's something mm-hmm. that I'm so good at. Mm-hmm. I think I was raised, you know, like my background, religious background, is yeah. a, really in service, you know, to oh, the really? community. So, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, like literally, I just raised, <laughs> was raised doing that. So, that's what I love. Aww. And I'm so happy that we all have that connection. Come on, server yeah. life. Yes. And where did yes. you say you worked? I work at Star Crab. How it's long like a Cajun seafood restaurant. I start with the company. 2018. Okay. But then I moved to the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. And I got married, have a baby, got Aww. divorced, come back. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I got tried it. <laughs> and then I make some money. And then I told the, the owner, like, I want to open a franchise, open a restaurant if you want to be my partner. And it's like, I'm opening this one with the owner already. So work here for a year. And then next one, we are partners. So be a manager. Make it through everything, work, learn what you have oh, to wow. learn, and then you can open a one. So next you're doing time. that now or next year? I'm I'm doing this now. I'm working okay. now, so we're opening one maybe end of the year. Okay. Or next. So that's beginning very of next exciting. Year. Yes, that's awesome. it's happening. Yes. She has so many things going on, man. I'm telling you, this woman is amazing. Like, I just kind of blink sometimes. Like, you know, because she's got stuff going on and she's on top of it. That's Mm -hmm. such a Libra. So happy she found me. Are you a Libra as well? Or I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, come on, October. Scorpio. Water sign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, yes. she said October. Oh, no, yeah. Like so you're day. October the 28th. 28th. Almost nice. Halloween. My mom is the 30th. Right. Yeah, I know. Uh, right My mom is the 30th. Literally. She's Halloween. like, I'm not a Halloween baby, though. Don't, don't. <laughs> you know. <laughs> She's ready. You both She's are yes. Libras? Huh, say it again. No, uh, I'm a cancer. Oh, okay, so yeah. when's your birthday? October 2nd. Okay, and when's your birthday? I'm June 23rd. Oh, my mom's is in June 5th. Oh, June so, 5th. Oh, yeah. come on, Gemini. Yes. yes. My daughter's a Gemini, June oh, 9th. Yeah. I love that. Shout and out. So my little brother's a Libra, too. And though. I can oh. see, now I can see the, how my mom, like my daughter is so maternal, and mm-hmm. she works with children. She's so patient. Like, that's oh, her field. She works, I she's a that. behavioral therapist. Yeah. So she totally, you know, kids with special needs, like, she's so patient. Mm-hmm. I could just totally see your mom. Like, I see the Gemini, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And your mom, and I can see. This. Yeah, mom's like, a Gemini. Too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, look at the product of a Gemini. <laughs> 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 I'm so happy my grandbabies are going to be on. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love and it. my both Literally. brothers are Scorpio. Mm, and my mom's a Scorpio, so see, yeah, look. Yeah, oh, your kids connected. are going to be on and popping, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. No, my my families are all Pisces, Gemini, and Libras. Oh, and then nice. I'm the only Scorpio. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. Aw, love it, love it, love it. Well, it is just amazing to have you on. You are such a 
Thank um, you. Oh my gosh, just a gem. You really are. You're because you're 17. Like well, you're just getting you. started, and you're already so phenomenal. So Aww, shout you're out too to too sweet. <laughs> no, so for real. <laughs> like I wouldn't <laughs> just blow gas. You Thank are. You. you got your head on straight. You're so sweet. Like your heart is pure. I can already tell, and you're so mm. driven and focused. Talented, gorgeous, like you really are. Thank so you. I'm You're really so proud. Sweet. No, I'm so happy that you guys invited me. This is the first time that I've ever done anything like this. Really? So, oh yeah. Oh, I love you look that. Like a bro. Yes. <laughs> but we honestly, were the first. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I although I love talking, mm-hmm. <laughs> I talk all the time. That's why I'm good at my job. I I'm love good at it. serving because yes. I can like oh, talk to talkers, people honey. all day Just long. Tell, yeah. I love. I'm. I, I will gab on for ten years. So Same. I. I was really excited about this. No, I was just thinking um, on the drive over here. I was like, "Oh, like, what am I? What am I gonna say? It's gonna be like, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm thinking of things that I'm gonna, I'm gonna say to sound like smart or whatever." And then I forgot all of it, and it was just like flowed and <laughs> conversation. Yes. So I was like, "Oh, this is a, like, you know, I didn't have to like freak out or Why? anything because I was like, this needs to be perfect." Exactly. So, yeah, so. Oh, this is so much fun. I am so happy. We're here for a good time, honey, on Something's oh, yeah. Purpose. We're very oh, yeah. excited about your show. Yes. Maybe you can come Thank back you. after, you oh, know, I'd love it's to. done. I'd then love we can to. talk more and can bring some food, please. <laughs> yeah, please. We always welcome samples. Yes. We do. You know, we're tasters. Noted. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. our palates are super refined, so you can trust us. No, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I love it. I'll have to bring some samples in next time. Nice. I love it. Oh my gosh. So tell us again. Um, let everyone know where they can find you. What is your IG? Your um, mm-hmm. my Instagram is at Sydney dot name dot official. Okay. With a Y. Sydney with a Y. Sydney with the Y, mm-hmm. baby. And then if you wanted to follow my business, it's at Sydney's Organic Kitchen. Yes. Aww. Oh, I love that. I love that. And then little Sicilies. Little Sicily AZ okay. is the name of our Instagram, but okay. that is where I And it's in Arizona. Waitress. It is in Arizona. Surprise, oh, okay. Arizona. So you guys gotta travel, honey. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you guys if you guys are out in Arizona. Yes. All of our Arizona listeners and viewers. Yes. So love it. Yeah. That's all. That's me. Okay. I love it. Oh my goodness. It was such a pleasure to have you on. Is there anything else that we should know or that you want to plug or <clears throat> Not at the moment. I think okay. we went over everything. Okay. And then we're your show on Reality Network. And my show on Reality Network. I don't know when that's going to be launched, but I know I'm going to be filming very shortly. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And do you, have you chosen a name? Um, yes, it's going to be Sydney's Meals and Heels. The Meals and Heels. And oh, then, yeah. okay, so what kind of heels? What's your favorite? Are we doing like any name brands? Or are we just doing heels that are slamming and then we'll figure that out? We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll I'm gonna have out. different <laughs> sleigh outfits for every single episode, so oh. it's just gonna depend. I have now your whole... outfit today. I just must say, I mean, yeah. come on, you are serving. Thank okay, you. you're we're serving outfits. We're serving with purpose. <laughs> Hello, I'm loving it. And this waistline, I'm okay. Yeah, we're going gonna... to the genius. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just inspired mamas over Aww. here. Yeah. yeah, you're so sweet. No, I I love I love. I have an addiction to clothes. I have an addiction to shoes. My entire closet is like packed as much as possible. Like I have the rack for my shirts and then I have two little hooks that hang another rack right below it. So every little square inch is utilized. Oh. And then the top shelf is filled to the ceiling with shoe boxes. Oh, I love that. I love, like, I love oh, my I heels. Can you tell? <laughs> I love that. Of course, as you should. And you better mm-hmm. rock them. I love it. Oh. I want to ask everybody to like, subscribe, comment. Oh, of course. And we are on YouTube and the Reality Network. If you didn't subscribe to the Reality Network, just go and subscribe. There's amazing shows there. And you can find exclusive content from us, from Sydney, and many others. Thank you so much for having me on. It was my pleasure. Thank you for coming. You're amazing. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Best of luck to you with everything. Thank you. Best of luck to you. And I'm glad you had fun too. Oh, yeah. This is a blast. This time flew by. And call us to cook with you. Yeah, we will. I will. Yeah, I can have some like guests on my show. Be like, oh, I just did a talk show with them the other day and now they're cooking with me. Yes. (laughs) If you you guys want to drive six hours to Arizona, I know. Yeah. I mean, we don't have anything else. Awesome. You guys got some <laughs> car snacks. Yay! Yay! Road trip. 
Yes. 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 Oh, you guys texted me. me out. Very nice to meet you, Sydney. Thank you for coming. Of course, thank you. And Share. subscribe to the Reality Network. Yes, subscribe. Thank you, right Tanner. Now. Say hi, Tanner. Yeah, say hi. Hello. Oh, we love you, Tanner. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure that you click like and subscribe and comment. And this is Serving with Purpose with Carolina and Danny. And we we'll see you next week. Bye. Yes, bye.